Right now, New Year, same traditions, how those around the country ring in the New Year. And the war in Ukraine continues, how Ukrainians plan to keep fighting in the second year of the war. And we got dense fog and some slick roads out there this morning, but we got a bigger system on its way. I'll track out what to expect when you start going back to work tomorrow with the rain and maybe even freezing rain. Good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. Happy New Year to you. I'm Shane Hogan. Before we get to our top stories this morning, though, we're going to send things over to Greg Barnhart. And before we do that, though, just a, a quick reminder, there are a lot of different road conditions going on right now. We'll continue to update those in the morning uh, throughout this morning. But uh, again, take it slow if you're headed out the door this morning. A lot of slippery roads and Greg's been keeping an eye on that all morning long. Yeah, we had a lot of freezing rain to the east. We had some snow to the west and then obviously any moisture overnight. You had kind of that black ice too. So a lot of those shoulders, areas that didn't have a lot of traffic had those slick spots too. But we also got the fog dealing with all the moisture too to the south. Right now, two and a half in Lone Rock, a quarter mile or less as you get far into southwest Wisconsin or even northeast Iowa. Zero degrees down in Monroe too. So some dense fog just because of the moisture and the temperatures hovering around or just above freezing. So that's why there's a dense fog advisory basically south and southwest of Madison until about nine or 10 if you, a.m. if you get into Illinois. As you see the temperatures right now, we're hovering right around that area, 30 degrees, 34 in Madison, 31 in La Crosse. You get into the upper to mid 20s, you get further west. But overall, like I said, we're sitting right around that freezing area. There's a dense fog area right there. The precipitation has pushed to the east. This gives you an idea of kind of where the snow or ice, depending on where you are, fell yesterday. And you can see generally in the area where road conditions are there just enough. And like I said, we just fell close enough to freezing that the road surfaces are icy. So that's the thing to do with what you're dealing with today is the fog is black ice this morning. Everything should should improve by the later we get to noon in the afternoon. We could see some more fog potential tomorrow. The bigger storm that we're watching is to the southwest. That's the one that's coming up and they already got winter storm bulletins out for that. I'll break down what that all means a bit later in the broadcast. Okay, Greg, thank you. Revelers in Times Square rang in the new year with an all out celebration that had none of the COVID restrictions that marked the past two years. CBS News correspondent Wendy Gillette was on hand for the big moment. 2023 arrived at the stroke of midnight with the nearly 12,000 pound Waterford crystal ball drop and about a ton of confetti flying through the air. Many revelers said they were feeling good as they look forward to the year ahead. It's the most iconic way to spend New Year's Eve and a bucket list thing for sure. We just want a happy 2023. We want all our families to be with us and celebrating life and that's it. What is it like to end your 2022 here? Amazing, like super awesome, the best thing in the world. Down and CBS is in on all the celebrations with its special New Year's Eve Live, Nashville's Big Bash. As always, security was extremely tight here in Times Square. Thousands of uniformed officers patrolled the streets. Police say there were also bomb squads and radiation detection teams, as well as undercover operations. About 12,000 miles away, Australia helped kick off the new year with a fireworks display that exploded over Sydney's world-famous opera house and harbor bridge, while Hong Kong put on a spectacular show over the city's harbor. And London had a huge fireworks display at midnight with Big Ben and the Thames River as the backdrop. Back in Times Square, the end of the festivities means one thing, the beginning of a big cleanup. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. Rio de Janeiro's Copacabana Beach saw a much smaller crowd of a few thousand for a short fireworks display. Several Brazilian cities canceled their celebrations this year due to concern about the coronavirus. Now to some more top medical stories this morning. It was another week of high flu activity across the country. The CDC says cases are declining in most areas, but so far this season there have been at least 20 million illnesses, 210,000 hospitalizations and more than 13,000 deaths from the flu. China's hospitals are overflowing with COVID-19. Infections there have surged since the country dropped pandemic restrictions last month. The U.S. has reinstated mandatory testing for airline travelers arriving from China starting on January 5th. Other countries have announced similar restrictions with growing concern that new variants could emerge. And more children are ending up in emergency rooms for mental health crises. 
A study in JAMA Pediatrics tracked more than 200,000 children seen at hospitals from 2015 to 2020. It found emergency room visits for mental health increased by 8% annually. 13% of patients revisited the hospital within six months. 7.03 this morning when Russia invaded Ukraine in February of 2022, it led to the largest European conflict since World War II. Now troops are just weeks away from entering the second year at war, a war that is deadlocked. Ian Lee reports from Ukraine. Russian forces thought shock and awe would take Ukraine in days. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. Without provocation, <clears throat> without justification, without necessity. Forces attacked from multiple directions. Helicopters dropped troops at Hostomel Airport to seize the capital, Kyiv, while armored columns blitzed across the border. Russian President Vladimir Putin justified his war using a boogeyman from history. We will strive to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine, Putin explained. Millions of Ukrainian civilians fled the country, while the West and its allies quickly slapped tough sanctions on Moscow, targeting their economy and energy. Stiff Ukrainian resistance stopped the Russians in their tracks, inflicting heavy casualties and eventually forcing them to flee from around Kyiv. Russian troops left behind a trail of death and destruction, massacring hundreds of civilians in Bucha. <laughs> These are war crimes, and they will be recognized by the world as genocide, President Volodymyr Zelensky said while visiting the town. The city of Mariupol became a symbol of heroism, while fighting around Europe's largest nuclear power plant drew another historical comparison the Chernobyl disaster. There has to be a recognition that uh, this nuclear power plant cannot be a military target of any sort in any way. NATO and its allies poured weapons, ammunition and equipment into the country. With the powerful American HIMAR rocket system, Ukraine fought back, launching a sweeping counteroffensive around Kharkiv and Kherson. Ukrainian troops scored major symbolic victories, like striking the strategic bridge connecting Russia and Crimea and sinking a Russian warship. Russia doubled down, conscripting hundreds of thousands of its citizens to the front line and declaring the annexation of territory in eastern Ukraine, while Zelensky traveled to the United States to rally support to get the weapons to win the fight. The battle is not only for life, freedom and security of Ukrainians or any other nation which Russia attempts to conquer. This struggle will define in what world our children and grandchildren will live. As the year closes, both sides are at a standstill, while Russia is targeting critical civilian infrastructure out of apparent frustration, depriving ordinary Ukrainians of warmth and light during a cold and dark winter. Ian Lee, CBS News, Dnipro, Ukraine. Still ahead this morning, how Wisconsin politicians pass their time as they travel across the state. And you're taking a live look this morning over the Capitol. A little foggy out there. Greg's tracking those slick roads when we come back. When treating shoulder pain, I think one of the most important things that we need to do is uh, listen to our patients. Most times, just listening to the patient, letting them explain what's been bothering them, I'm able to help confirm a diagnosis. Can't get home in time to watch the news? News 3 Now is always on. Get Channel 3000 app now so you'll have all the day's top stories in the palm of your hand. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus Hybrid. With cool to touch covers, body hugging memory foams, and motion reducing coils, you'll sleep cooler and more comfortably all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. 
non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. Nurtec ODT is the only medication that can treat and prevent my migraine attacks. Don't take if allergic to Nurtec. Allergic reactions can occur even days after using. Most common side effects were nausea, indigestion, and stomach pain. Treat and prevent all in one. You get a bond, and not only with my residents, but their family. It's a wonderful feeling. I touch a lot of lives as a caregiver. If I'm an impact on somebody else's life, that makes me feel good in the heart. You just build a really strong connection with everybody that you take care of. Working here, I'm part of the community. They are our family. This is my home away from home. Earn while you learn. Free training and a $500 bonus. Sign up today at wiscaregiver.com. Only a wise and lucky few understand the amazing benefits of real sauna bathing. Leisure Concepts has finish and infrared saunas that set up in a flash and will get you through winter happy and healthy. Now watch closely to see my favorite part of sauna bathing. Get to Leisure Concepts on the Beltline at the Park Street exit. I love being an orthopedic surgeon because I can help people improve their lives. My name is Ashish Ravel. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. My specialty is sports medicine, focusing specifically on the care of the shoulder, hip, and knee. Yeah, we still got the slippery road conditions and the fog this morning, but then our eyes really going to start turning our attention to that next system, which could be a messy one. And right now it's in the southwest part of the U.S. You can barely see it out there. Pretty wet system, but it's going to push east and then lift north. So that's the one that we're keeping an eye on that could pose a lot of problems coming up here for at least Monday evening through Tuesday. That's what we're keeping an eye on. We still could see some patchy fog even tomorrow, but I think that won't be as widespread or something we saw this morning. Then it's going to be really the ice potential with this storm and exactly where in the across central Wisconsin down to northeast Iowa, southeast Minnesota, where that sets up is really the key. I think southern Wisconsin more or less going to be mostly rain and then we'll all turn to kind of snow come Tuesday night into Wednesday. Could be some accumulation or even some road issues then, but really it's going to be that Tuesday. For today, just cloud cover. We'll see a few breaks here come up as you can see the winds. There's the next system tomorrow. You'll just start to see it by the afternoon. Spread a little bit of light snow up towards the western areas uh, west of La Crosse and then it'll lift further north as we get towards more of the evening hours where that precipitation could be from snow, then turn to freezing rain, and then turning to rain, probably what you're going to see as you can see it lift up. So really where this line is of between snow, ice, and rain is going to be very narrow. And if it shifts a little bit here and there, you could get a lot of ice, or you could flip around and get mostly just rain. Southern Wisconsin, I think, will be fine. We'll be mostly in the rain condition, too. But for today, we see, should see temperatures back up to near 40 for most areas this afternoon. Otherwise, cloud cover, light winds. Overall, no precipitation today. Even through tomorrow morning, we're not going to see anything as you get into tomorrow afternoon. That's when you'll start seeing it here towards the end as it comes up that first wind you can see pushing up north of Winona and then we'll see more here. The ice potential, this gives you probability greater than a tenth and it doesn't take much on roads to be really dangerous. This is quite a bit. So you're looking at 40 to 50 percent in two little areas as it stretches across just north of La Crosse. This thing could shift a little bit here and there, but that's the areas they're focused on right now for ice. And then uh, as you look at uh, for snowfall, that's a little bit of a different story. We're going to see basically two areas come up here, and if one shows up, it did not show up. Pretty much we're going to have the snow is going to be north of the area, La Crosse, up to probably Eau Claire area stands the best shot to get maybe three to four inches of snow. We'll see some snow here in La Crosse too, but change over maybe Tuesday into Wednesday. The ice, like I said, that Monday evening, Monday night is really critical for up there, how much ice and where it is. Same thing for Madison. 
but it will start off as rain. Now we could see maybe up to the Dells and those areas maybe switch to a little bit of freezing rain to Monday evening for all when we all go to rain. So a lot of questions still to remain on that system. So just stay tuned to forecast. If you're trying to travel during that time, definitely pay attention. Yeah, you can get our app too in the uh, in your app store for free. Just search WIC weather. That way you can stay mm -hmm. on top of everything these next few days. All right, Greg, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, you might have been on the road this holiday season and in the fall, so were politicians crisscrossing across the state as they campaigned. That prompted our political reporter to ask, how did they pass the time and what were they listening to? Will Keneally has more. So it's always fun, right? You get to the station car here and see what the last person was listening to. Whether they're a top 40 listener, a classic rock listener, it's all insightful, right? And so with all the pavement that the candidates have pounded this fall during the campaign, we wanted to know how are the politicians spending their time in their cars? Gosh, what a good question. Um... For Greta Neubauer, who leads the Assembly Democrats, it's an opportunity to make time for catching up during a busy campaign season call friends or family members, um, you know, find the time that you can in between campaigning to catch up with folks. And that's similar to the governor who says he would work during some of those drives. But if he had to pick something on the radio? Yeah, I hate to say this. I, I, I love music, but I, I'm more concerned about how the brewers were doing. Now, as a White Sox fan, this reporter didn't quite know how to feel about that. I tell you, the White Sox are one of my favorite teams. The Milwaukee Braves left Milwaukee. The city asked the White Sox and the Cubs to come and play a couple games every year at County Stadium. The White Sox had usually a weekend series once a year at County Stadium, and uh, so they have a they have a spot in my heart. For the assembly speaker, it's an eclectic mix. The, the stations that I listen to, uh, mostly for fun, 70s on 7, The Blend, I like uh, 40s on 4. He says he also likes a good history podcast, something engaging but not close to current politics. I'm listening to one right now that's on medieval history, so I, I try to focus mostly on things that are, that are not current because I want my mind to wander. Now for me, I have to keep it loyal to the station that you would have heard me on just a few years ago. You're listening to Smooth Ride here on WSUM 91.9. It always gives you an opportunity to listen to something new. I like to listen to the radio sometimes to get some new music in my life. And often when I'm in southeastern Wisconsin, that is 88.9. Reporting from the roads of Wisconsin, Will Keneally, News 3 Now. Genius. Will Keneally, one of the best at it. Uh, how about getting a little taste of him back in the day and on the radio as well? That's good stuff there. All right, our thanks to Will for putting that together. Coming up this morning, a conversation on vaping and how to talk to your kids about the implications. We'll be right back. Happy holidays from all of us at WISC-TV. When I say I've been living Atkins for years, that doesn't mean I've been on a diet for years. Of course, there are times when I want to lose a few pounds. So for me, it's Atkins to the rescue. And with Atkins, it doesn't have to take over your life. I mean, look at the great things you can have. Fresh recipes that deliver quality proteins and aren't full of sugars or refined carbs. Check out all their free tools and recipes at Atkins.com. No meetings, nothing to join. Did I mention it's all free? Attention mothers, did you take Tylenol or other acetaminophen pain relieving products while pregnant? Recent evidence suggests children whose mothers took Tylenol while pregnant may be more likely to develop autism. Other acetaminophen products at risk include Excedrin, NyQuil, DayQuil, and other store brand pain relievers. Children with autism have a hard time interacting with others. Those on the spectrum usually begin exhibiting social symptoms by the time they're 8 to 10 months old. Call now for a free confidential consultation. Please call 800-379-7867. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. 
Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. If you're buzzed and doing this... To make yourself feel okay to drive... ZWX. Uh, you're not okay to drive. Y G K L V W. Uh, regular you. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we still got, as you can see, temperatures throughout today should warm up above freezing, so the slick roads will not be a problem. We should lose the dense fog, too. Up to La Crosse, mid-30s, light winds, uh, a little more peaks of the sun than we've seen in previous days, and that's good news. Fog will actually lift here later, so we'll see more sun. Maybe get up to 40 or a little better in certain areas. Once again, a peak of the sun, too, this afternoon with light winds. No precipitation expected today. That changes tomorrow, but most of the day for tomorrow for southern Wisconsin, at least should be dry. Uh, maybe 50 even as we climb up. Then it gets real messy as we get to Monday evening and Monday night, especially up in the areas around La Crosse, west and north of that. It could be an ice, snow, rain mixture. Rain more probably for southern Wisconsin. Just stay tuned for updates on that because it's definitely going to be kind of a mess as we get into that situation. But there's your 10-day. We'll have to get through Wednesday. Beyond that, temperatures get back to average. The same story for Madison, too, but more rain for Monday, Tuesday, maybe snow Wednesday, and more average temperatures after that. Okay, Greg, thank you very much. In this morning's health conversation, I sat down with Dr. Rupa Shaw to talk about the health consequences of vaping. Some claim vaping and e-cigarette use as a healthier way to stop smoking traditional cigarettes. But as millions of tweens and teens and young adults pick up the habit, it's important to know the real health risks associated with vaping. SSM Health Family Medicine Physician and Wellness Coach Dr. Rupa Shaw joins me today to talk about what those risks are as well as how to, uh, some tips on how to kick the habit of smoking and vaping for good. So Dr. Shaw, let's start with that. Some vaping advocates say that e-cigarettes and vape pens are healthier than traditional tobacco products. Is that true? Are they really healthier? Not really. No, there's a lot of inherent risks with the vaping pens um, that we're just finding out now. Um, you know, first of all, there is a heating element within the vape pen which in and of itself can be a hazard. If it gets overheated, it can actually explode. Wow. Um, given also that some of these um, liquids of the nicotine are flavored, um, if a child, say, were to come in contact with that because it tastes good and, you know, if they were to drink it, um, that could be really toxic to them. But the biggest risk, really, that we found uh, with the vaping pens is the um, e-cigarette-related uh, pulmonary injury. So back in 2019, we had seen over 2,700 hospitalizations um, and even deaths related to this lung injury that was due to the vapor itself having um, an adulterated compound called vitamins, uh, vitamin E acetate. Uh, most of it was associated with THC compounds, but basically it was causing a lot of chemical irritation in the lungs for folks. So, And what in that risk alone, what does that mean, you know, internally? So what that can cause is uh, we're not exactly sure all the kind of path, you know, the um, pathology was causing, but a lot of uh, potentially fibrosis in the lungs. Uh, and a lot of inflammation in the lungs with that particulate matter. Wow, okay, yeah. that's really yeah. good to know. Mm -hmm. Now, can vaping help you stop smoking? There's there, there's that, you know, train of thought mm -hmm. out there as well. Yeah, so a lot of folks think, oh, I want to, you know, quit smoking, so I'll try vaping. The issue with that is really, in and of itself, it becomes a new habit, and people mm -hmm. just tend to continue to vape. Um, and in fact, we've seen a lot more adolescents and teenagers kind of pick up this habit, and it has become a habit just like any other addiction. So truly it is not uh, a great way to quit smoking, nor to, nor is it FDA approved as a proven uh, smoking cessation habit. So I would really encourage folks that if you're wanting to quit smoking, talk to your doctor about some of the really approved ways and safer ways right. that we have to quit smoking versus trying vaping. That FDA yeah. note, really important yes. there. Now, recent reports from the CDC show that millions of kids as young as middle school age are vaping. 
you mentioned that you know it's that access to it I think yeah. is is a part of it yeah. what do you think parents and adults should do what if they feel, realize that their kids are taking part yeah so the first thing uh, you know is that these devices you know if you've seen them they're really small some of these um, e-cigarette devices they look just like little USB drives so to really be aware of what to look for um, and look in your kids backpacks and if you see anything like that it's a great time to have the conversation but even before that just really talking to them about you know vaping is not cool not everybody is doing it mm. but the focus really should be on what are the healthy habits you want your kids to have focusing on health good nutrition, exercise, and eliminating any sort of bad habits um, and focusing on that and just letting them know that yes, there are people that vape out there, um, but if you really want to do things that are good for your body um, and your health, you need to avoid that. And and if you yourself vape or smoke, yep. then of course giving up that habit so you can role model that for your kids yep. too. That's yeah. a great message. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Shaw. Now where yeah. else can people find you? Yep, so they can find me on Instagram at Wellness with Dr. Shaw. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. As always, our thanks to Dr. Shaw for her insights. Coming up this morning, how Madison is ringing in the new year. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! One day, I will rock that swimsuit. Your one day is closer than you think. From fresh meals to one-on-one -on -one coaching, Jenny Craig is weight loss made simple. Your one day starts today. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Every single day, we help families that have been tragically impacted in truck crashes. And you'll never pay us a fee until we win your case. Truck crash? Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Go glam at Macy's after Christmas sale with up to 25% off your party outfit, up to 65% off shoes and accessories, and up to 35% off fine jewelry. Plus, get an extra 20% off these incredible deals now at Macy's. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. I became an orthopedic surgeon for a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. For a lot of reasons. To help you take walks again. To ease your pain. To rebuild your strength. And at every step along the way, we take the time to answer all your questions. We're here because we care. We care about you. 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 They care about me. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics, now offering robotic assisted knee replacement. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! Tyree Henry. There is a lot to love on the Jennifer Hudson show. King Kong was my first love. <laughs> so you just feel you fanning yourself because it's my show, Amy. On the next Jennifer Hudson show at three. And then at four, our film critic Will Loper has the holiday box office numbers. And we'll meet the author of the book, The Minimum Method: The Least You Can Do to Be a Stronger, Healthier, and Happier You. On the next live at four. Right now, welcome to 2023, a return to normalcy to ring in the new year. And we are learning what officials believe caused a large fire at a farm near Sun Prairie. And we have fog out there and even a lot of slick roads due to the freezing rain and black ice. We'll time out when we'll warm up and then also when we'll see that next big chance of rain coming tomorrow. 
Good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Shane Hogan. Happy New Year to all of you. It is officially 2023. All right, before we get to our full forecast this morning, we want to take a live look at some road conditions across our viewing area. You can see a lot of roads still considered slippery or ice covered. That's what the purple and the red indicates there on the screen purple and red showing slippery and ice covered. So if you're heading out this morning, take your time. There's still some uh, conditions to be concerned about there. There have been a few reported accidents as well. As of right now, Highway 14 is closed in both directions at Twin Valley and Cleveland Road due to a crash that is, you know, nearest to Madison. So keep an eye on that as well. If you're heading that way, we will keep you updated on the conditions throughout the morning. All right, now let's take a look at the forecast of what we can expect later today. Good morning, Greg. Morning, yeah, along with the ice, we also have we have fog too going on for a lot of areas, especially southern, far southern Wisconsin, Iowa, and even into Illinois too, a quarter to a half mile right now. Other areas have seen some fog, but really that's where it's most dense right now. They have a dense fog advisory out until 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. for Illinois too. So along with the ice, you still got the visibility issues too. Temperatures right now have been hovering right around freezing, give or take a few degrees. In southern Wisconsin, as you go further west, more colder up to the north to west of La Crosse or up into the mid to upper 20s. So overall, that's the problem we've had with all that moisture that's been sitting on the road or the snow ice that we got yesterday too. So black ice still a problem this morning, the patchy fog also this morning, but we'll have more sun this afternoon. So I think all that will improve. We could have even some fog maybe tomorrow morning. Big picture, precipitation has moved east. Overall, this is where the snow and ice really fell. A lot of it to the east was ice. West of Madison, more kind of a little bit of half inch of snow. Once again, it just doesn't take much to do that. Good news, we'll get up to 40 here for Madison, so everything should be melted off. The same story for La Crosse, too, mid 30s, maybe more peaks of the sun, light winds, no precipitation to be expected. The system we're watching out to the west, that's the one that we're going to be tracking with the next chance of rain, freezing rain. It's all kind of a mess. Here's the bulletin that is out there for a winter storm watch. I'll break down one to expect and what kind of precip to expect with the system a bit later in the broadcast. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Well, that was the scene in Times Square for the iconic ball drop at midnight last night. An estimated 15,000 spectators were on hand to watch, marking the return of a normal celebration in New York City. Well, it is officially 2023 and yesterday was a full day of celebration on the Capitol Square and State Street here in Madison. Our Catherine Merck takes us to one celebration who set the clocks a bit earlier so the whole family could party together. At the Madison Children's Museum, they're ringing in the new year a few hours earlier so that everybody in the family can enjoy it. daytime New Year's Eve party for many years and it's very popular with families. Noon Year's Eve was just the first of the celebrations on the Capitol Square. You know, if parents have plans for later, they want to get their kids out and active during the day um, or they want to get the kids active and cheering down the countdown to midnight, but then be able to have a, a quieter evening at home. This isn't all that's to come this evening. Well, the good news is that variety is really the definition of what's going on in downtown Madison over New Year's Eve and even over the weekend in some places. The Madison Central Business Improvement District says the rest of the night, downtown Madison's restaurants and bars will have a lot to offer for the holiday. There's stuff for the kids to do and families and for adults of all ages, young and old. For these kiddos, New Year's Eve means a dance party and a juice toast. But for the people in Madison, these celebrations say so much about what our downtown has to offer. The, the character of State Street is just so unique and the square. Uh, we want to keep it that way. As for the adults who might be trying to head to the Capitol Square or State Street on New Year's Eve, earlier this week I spoke to the Madison Police Department about extra safety measures they're taking this evening. It told me they're going to have about 30 extra officers patrolling the area to respond to concerns if they come up. Reporting in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck for News 3 Now. Keva Sports Complex in Middleton also joined in on the New Year's Eve fun with a family New Year's Eve. The event has been going on for years over at Keva. It had kids music, inflatables, sports play, balloon artists, and a magic show, plus a photo booth and food and drinks. Yeah, we do. We sold um, a, a great number of tickets in the last couple days. I think with the weather being so nice, um, we're just excited to have people here celebrating the new year. Um 
Fun event going on here at Kiva. It's been estimated about six or 700 people stopped by. More than 500 or so were expected. The event at Kiva uh, held a balloon drop a little earlier than everyone else at 730. That way the kiddos could enjoy. 732 now this morning to a developing story we've been following all weekend. New details about a large fire at a farm near Sun Prairie on Friday. Fire officials say a large fire at the Stats Brothers Farm was likely started by a tractor. Fire crews responded before 4 p.m. on Friday to the farm that's located on County Highway Double V. More than 11 different departments responded. Eight plus hours they were on scene to put out the fire and hot spots. Our Andrew Bancher visited the farm and spoke with firefighters about how they were able to take control of the blaze before it spread any further. As of early afternoon Saturday, you still see a lot of smoke here at Statsboro's farm, but this whole situation could have been much worse, according to the Sun Prairie Fire Department. At about 3.45 on Friday afternoon, Sun Prairie's Fire Department responded to a large fire at Statsboro's farm. The responding units immediately called for more backup. That's when the scene's commanding officer, Bill Sullivan, went en route. Initially on scene, we found a, uh, a storage-type building, um, open-sided uh, on one side, so that we had good access to it, but there was definitely heavy fire. SPFD says the likely source of ignition was a tractor that had just been used in the fields and was now parked inside that shed. That shed has been deemed a total loss, but it could have been much worse. So there was a building to the west that was probably separated by 10 feet or so. Um, luckily, the wind was blowing in the right direction, um, and we could have a hose line back there to protect, and that was what we were worried about with the cows in the adjacent building. Sullivan estimated that about 20,000 gallons of water were used to stop the spread. That containment meant no other buildings were damaged, and more importantly, no people or cows were injured. We could have lost the, those two adjacent buildings very easily if it wouldn't have been noticed or reported when it did. On a holiday weekend, 11 fire departments sent help to Sun Prairie, working on the scene for some eight and a half hours. Um, being able to get uh, additional help from our neighbors was was significant. Um, I don't, we would not have been able to pull it off without them. Thanks to those fast acting first responders, we were able to avoid complete catastrophe here at Stats Bros Farm. Sending you into a happy new year, wishing you well in Sun Prairie. Andrew Vanstra, News 3 Now. 734 this morning, Idaho murder suspect Brian Koberger could be back in Idaho as early as next week. His attorney says he is willing to waive his extradition hearing. The arrest brings some comfort to the rattled community of Moscow. Danya Bacchus has the latest. After nearly seven weeks of uncertainty, residents of Moscow, Idaho now feeling at ease. I think it was pretty unnerving and scary for people. The college community relieved after an arrest in the deadly stabbings of four University of Idaho students, a crime that seemed to mystify police. Now we're sharing the energy of hope that we've, you know, this huge moment has happened. It's not going to go unsolved. Moscow police say they are confident that 28-year-old Brian Koberger is the killer. Authorities zeroed in on the criminology student and arrested him Thursday, more than 2,500 miles away at his parents' home in Pennsylvania. I looked at the picture and I was like, I couldn't believe who it was. It was Brian Koberger. I would text him like, hey, you want to go for a run? Police have not found the murder weapon, but did recover the white Hyundai Elantra they say Koberger used to drive cross-country from Washington State University, where he lived and attended school. The university is less than 20 minutes from Moscow. Friday, investigators searched his apartment. We are still looking for um, all pieces of evidence. Even with the arrest, authorities say the investigation is far from over. They're still asking for tips about the suspect from anyone who knows him. School officials say Koberger continued going to classes and finished the semester at Washington State University before driving home to Pennsylvania. His attorney tells us he was calm but shocked by his arrest. Donya Backus, CBS News, Moscow, Idaho. Still ahead this morning, more New Year's celebrations around the state. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 
800-550-5543. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Being a caregiver starting at age 16 has really shaped me into who I am today. The best part of my day is the day-to-day -day interactions with some of my residents. They really know how to make you smile. I love learning from my residents every day. They have good information, good knowledge, good wisdom. It's amazing. I go home every night feeling very rewarded for the work that I'm doing here. Earn while you learn. Free training and a $500 bonus. Sign up today at wiscaregiver.com. Bag sale. 15% off, so I was thinking we could fix up a few things around here. New cordless drill, so we can finally hang those pictures. LED bulbs, that'll help with the electric bill. Picked up some toothpaste for us. We always need batteries. New coat of paint for the mudroom. And finally, something to unclog that basement sink. The bag is back. Hurry in and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now at Menards. Do you need help paying for health care? As a health insurance navigator, my job is to help people find affordable or low-cost options. We find the best deals, whether it's from healthcare.gov or state coverage like Badger Care Plus. And you can reach us in person or by phone, text, or online. Call the 211 helpline to find free local help or go to wiscover.com to learn more. Yeah, we still got the fog potential out there. Slick roads right now. If you look at satellite right now, you can't see it too much of the fog, but it's in southern Wisconsin right now. If we look at bigger picture wise, too, we have that system. We'll talk about more here in a bit that's coming. But overall, the fog out there is dense as you go further south and east. They have a dense fog advisory out until 9 a.m. for southern Wisconsin and then going to northern Illinois. Future track, this is the idea we're watching for tomorrow evening. As you can see, how the precipitation type can be very messy as you get further north and what exactly goes on. Southern Wisconsin, probably more rain. And then and everyone will probably turn to rain either late Monday night into Tuesday morning before we kind of turn right back around maybe like Tuesday night and Wednesday. A lot more details to be really sorted out with that. So take a Please pay attention to forecasts as we go into Monday and Tuesday. Um, we'll see conditions then improve later on there. Uh, otherwise, once we get past that, that thing will not stop for me right now. So, Chris, you know, once we get past that, we should be good, too. But definitely keep an eye on those conditions as we go through tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, especially as you go further north and west of La Crosse. Okay, Greg, thank you. Well, New Year's Eve festivities in La Crosse means the return of the Skyrockers. Volunteers were hard setting up for the events last night. The nonprofit organization started shooting off fireworks in 1929. That came months after the stock market crash. It began as a small parade in downtown La Crosse, and now the tradition has become a staple in the community. Organizers say that this community is the reason behind the success of the fireworks. It's a good time for us. We know that uh, we work hard for the community, and we start we start our fun, our new year every year on a really positive note, knowing that we're helping everybody else out and having a good time doing it together. The Skyrockers hold two fireworks shows every year: one at 6 p.m. and one at midnight. Organizers say it took over eight hours to put the fireworks together and get them ready for their shows. Kids and their parents said goodbye to 2022 with a countdown to the noon year. The Children's Museum of La Crosse also celebrated the new year with its annual countdown to noon, just like they had one here in Verona. There were balloons and a bubble wrap stomp, and the event gave ch kids a chance to celebrate without having to wait up until midnight. People are really itching to get back together, build community, to be active, to invest in the things that are around here that, you know, are really part of what the community is. It's just a really great opportunity for us to be able to 
kind of just hang out, get together, be in a safe place, especially with the weather being hot and cold. This is the first time the museum has held the event since 2019. Good to be back together. All right, still ahead this morning, the Packers playoff hopes. They're still alive. We've got a preview of today's game coming up. And you're taking a live look downtown over the Capitol. You can see the fog. Be careful if you're heading out this morning. There are some slick roads. We're going to talk about that when we get back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Before we begin, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. And by switching, you could even save $652. Thank you, Liberty Mutual. Now, contestants ready? Go! Oh, only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Non-attorney spokesperson. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by Nightline Legal. Cases assigned on a random basis to participating law firms. If you or a loved one were stationed at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune between 1953 and 1987 and were later diagnosed with cancer, Parkinson's disease, or other serious health effects, call right now. You may be entitled to financial compensation. Call right now to find out if you qualify. Call 1-800-336-0524. 1-800-336-0524. We asked people to give their honest feedback on how wrinkles around their eye area and under eye puffiness looked after trying Tint and Titan for the first time. So with foundation, normally it just kind of cover up and conceal things, but with Tint and Titan, it actually changes the way the skin looks. The lines are actually gone, so you don't get any of that buildup within them and the creases that you normally would see with when you wear foundation. Tint and Titan shrinks under eye puffiness, smooths out wrinkles and fine lines around the eye area, and provides tinted coverage to hide dark surfaces circles and skin imperfections, making you look fresh and younger. And since Tint and Titan works in 10 minutes and lasts up to eight hours, you can look your best without getting injections or fillers. Get beautiful, lightweight, tinted coverage, plus that smoother, younger, wrinkle-free look from years past in 10 minutes. A look that will make you feel beautiful and confident. Try it this new year for only $19.95, plus get free shipping and handling. Visit TintandTitan.com or call the number on your screen. One of the best things about the holidays is going home and spending time with family and friends. One of the worst things, getting there. Holiday travel can be tough, especially driving. If you or a loved one needs help after an accident this holiday season, we're here for you. Our top-notch team of experienced professionals is available 24-7. Be safe this holiday season. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we have the fog and slick roads this morning, but that's really not going to be the big travel headache coming up probably here for uh, us this week. It's really going to be that Monday night through Wednesday torrent storm system really to the north is where we're going to look for issues right now. Like I said, once we get through the patchy fog, Tension really turns to the ice with this storm, and that is north and west La Crosse, or in that general area, what we're looking at right now. Southern Wisconsin, more rain, and then we'll turn to a rain to snow by Tuesday into Wednesday. But like I said, that Monday evening, Monday night is really what we're kind of eyeing, is where we could see a definite potential for some ice up to the north. Where that line is, a lot of question marks still remain. Overall, today, you won't see any of that once we do warm up. We'll get rid of that. Just cloud cover, light winds. We won't see much of anything. That storm system we mentioned just starts coming into picture in Iowa by about 8 or so in the morning and then it'll start pulling northward towards the area by the afternoon hours and once we get to the afternoon hours I think everything will be dry it's once we get to the evening is when things get a little bit dicey on exactly what goes on with the precipitation type really depends a lot on temperatures right now for today we're going to see above freezing we should get closer to 40 by this afternoon in many areas mid to upper 30s generally then we'll cool off this afternoon overnight cloud cover kind of persists a few breaks today but as you wake up tomorrow morning generally in the 20s for most areas upper teens and then the rest of the day should be fairly dry we'll warm up once again the precipitation doesn't really come into play into the afternoon hours if you're well west of lacrosse and more evening hours you go for southern wisconsin 
Now, to give me an idea of what the precip type could be, obviously green is rain, pink could be a mix, and then you get to the colors of blue, it's snow. This gives you kind of an idea of what we're thinking of where this line could be. It's gonna be somewhere in this area, generally where you could see that ice, sleet potential there up to the north, more snow. It's going to warm up eventually Monday night, so everything will turn to rain probably further north. Southern Wisconsin definitely will be rain Monday night and Tuesday morning. Where this line up to the north kind of sits is still a lot in question, but there could be a narrow area that continues to see that freezing rain overnight. And then as you get through here, we start to transition. Tuesday, a break, and then the backside comes through. We'll start transitioning back to snow probably Tuesday some point. All areas by Tuesday night will probably be going to snow at some point. Here's your freezing rain potential, greater than a tenth, and it doesn't take much for a tenth to really cause some problems. Really up to the north, down to basically Austin area, that's where we're kind of eyeing right now the best potential. This could shift, but that is right now the eye of where the, the problems could exist. Snowfall, greater than four, it's kind of going to stay right to the north of that and then kind of slide up to that area. So we're not seeing much in the way of snow down in southern Wisconsin. But other than that, we'll just see rain. So a lot of questions once we get to tomorrow evening and night. Please pay attention to the forecast, especially if you're traveling in any of those areas, because it really is going to depend on what those surface temperatures are doing. So that line of where the snow, ice, and rain all kind of situated is going to be really quite a bit of time. So something to keep in mind of. Madison, I think we're safe. We're going to be all rain for most of the system, too. So I don't see a problem there. So those temps getting a little mild again, but uh, something to keep on with that rain. Exactly. All right, Greg, thank you very much. Well, the second half begins now for Wisconsin women's hockey after three weeks away. Where am I looking? Here I am from live game action. The Badgers head to the East Coast for a top four battle with Quinnipiac. Last season, UW swept the series. In fact, the Badgers haven't dropped a game to the Wildcats ever, and they aren't looking to do so anytime soon, not even two minutes in, when Nicole Lamontia takes it up and in for the first goal of the game. That score holds until midway through the third. Lacey Eden and Britta Curl bury two goals in 45 seconds to put this game away. Badgers get the three nothing shutout. They make it six straight wins. The series wraps up today at two. Badgers men's basketball put an exclamation point on their non-conference schedule, locking up their 10th win of the season on Friday night with a 10-point win over Western Michigan. And the night truly belonged to Stephen Crowell. UW's big man ended up having a career game where he scored 25 points with eight boards and a pair of assists. A breakout performance for the junior that really didn't come as a surprise to anyone. You're seeing a player grow up in front of your eyes in terms of maturing and understanding how good he can be. I thought his teammates did a good job of finding him. Like I said, he's just growing into what I think he can be. And obviously knocking down threes is another weapon. When you got a seven-footer that can score in the paint and make threes, and you get teammates that are finding him, that's a, that's a good combination. Badgers resume Big Ten play on Tuesday with the first installment of the border battle. Tip-off with Minnesota is set for 8 o'clock at the Kohl Center. Round two of the border battle kicks off later this afternoon, and a lot is on the line for the Packers as they get ready to avenge their season-opening loss to the now NFC North champs, the Minnesota Vikings. The Pack still in the playoff hunt, but it's kind of a chess game at this point. They need to close out the season with two wins. That would be today against the Vikings and then the Lions, plus have the Commanders drop one of their final games and have the Giants lose out. So there's a lot of moving parts going on right now, but the Packers, they're locked in, ready to go, and know that these two weeks have huge implications. You look at like our season, everybody, you know, you got to win out and stuff like that. It's almost like that storybook ending to, you know, us going on this big run. We won the games we needed to earlier on in the last week. The teams lost when the ones we needed to and hopefully continue to go. And, you know, last two games here, got to win with our fans and Lambeau uh, against people we know well. And so, um, you know, I think it's everything's right there for us. Kickoff at Lambeau is set for 325 this afternoon. That game will air here on News 3 Now, so stay tuned for full coverage of the game. And hey, make sure News 3 Now is a part of your weekly routine by downloading our weekly app. And when we come back, a final tribute to Barbara Walters. Don't miss the Smith Brothers factory authorized New Year's sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. 
But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. Attention mothers, did you take Tylenol or other acetaminophen pain relieving products while pregnant? Recent evidence suggests children whose mothers took Tylenol while pregnant may be more likely to develop autism. Other acetaminophen products at risk include Excedrin, NyQuil, DayQuil, and other store brand pain relievers. Children with autism have a hard time interacting with others. Those on the spectrum usually begin exhibiting social symptoms by the time they're 8 to 10 months old. Call now for a free confidential consultation. Please call 800-379-7867. Don't miss the Smith Brothers Factory Authorized New Year's Sale on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Select from many styles on our showroom floor or custom order the Amish crafted furniture that's right for you. Happy New Year! On the next live before, our film critic Will Loper has the holiday box office numbers. And we'll meet the author of the book, The Minimum Method, the least you can do to be a stronger, healthier, and happier you. News 3 Now's call for action team gets results. We're taking action for you. Nearly 700 cases closed, more than a half million dollars recovered, and we're not finished yet. When you need help, call for action only on News 3 Now. Finally this morning, a tribute to one of the greatest to ever do it. Barbara Walters was a trailblazer, a pioneer, and a true legend. Here's Adriana Diaz. She asked delicate questions directly. In our country, we read that you are unstable. <laughs> Interviewing heads of state. Are you sorry you didn't burn the tapes? As easily as Hollywood royalty. Was he the love of your life? Walter's career, eliciting truth and tears, started in 1961 as a writer on NBC's Today Show. Then this break, covering Paris fashion. Every day I had to go and look at fashion shows. Mm. And then I had to have lunch at Maxime's and drink champagne. Mm. I mean, it was so trying that I took absolutely the very last plane I could to get back here today. Her wit and grit fast got her to the lead story. Walters left NBC for ABC, where she became the first woman than ever to co-anchor a network evening newscast, earning $1 million a year in 1976, more than any anchor ever, male or female. She went on to co-host 2020, as well as Barbara Walters specials. What will you tell your children when you have them? Mommy made a big mistake. Walters was married four times to three men. She survived by her daughter, Jacqueline. I had had three miscarriages, and my husband and I decided that we would adopt a child. At 67, an age when many retire, she created The View, a show that changed the landscape of daytime television. In 2014, when she did retire, she spoke to Gail King. Barbara, there's not a woman on TV today that can't look back and say, if it wasn't you, then there wouldn't be me. That's and that's the most important thing to you. Yeah, it is. Here. It is the most important thing to me. That's what will continue. She busted open the door and held it open for so many of us. Thank you, Barbara. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, New York. Truly one of the best to do it, Barbara Walters. Uh, I think, you know, we'd all are benefactors. Oh, yeah, 2020 was Absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, you know, may she rest in peace and quite a legacy 
for her as well. All right, Greg, yep. before we go, how about a quick check of the weather? Well, you got the slick roads out there. You got fog out there, too. That all will improve here as you see visibility, too, especially to the south. We still got that dense fog at least till 9 or 10 a.m., depending on location. So definitely something to keep an eye on. Once we get past that, then really pay attention to Monday evening, Monday night, especially if you're further north, because you got a rain, snow, ice mixture developing. It could be significant ice, depending on where it sits up. So definitely keep an eye on the forecast if you're traveling up there. Southern Wisconsin, more rain with that system, but still could be quite a mess going on up to the north. All right, lots to keep an eye on. Again, if you're heading out the door this morning, be careful. A lot of slippery roads out there. Thanks for joining us and happy new year.